Did you guys know that native Siberians, ancient Siberians a couple of thousand years ago, had native Japanese admixture inside them? I find that interesting. If you don't, then, um, yeah, I think you're retarded. Middle Holocene Siberian genomes reveal highly connected gene pools throughout North Asia. So this study was published like a month ago, quite recently, and we're going to be doing an analysis on it, like a whole analyzation. Yeah, analysis. Yeah, that's the right word. But before we say anything else, son, we need to talk. This is no joke, son. We have to truly talk. So, do not take what I say for granted, little one. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, share the video, and leave a comment for the algorithm. Mwah. Thanks, son. Goofiness aside, so I'm not going to be reading the study for you guys. I'm not going to, like, like that, that's kindergarten bullshit. Like, what I'm going to be doing is just summarize the points made by the study and what we can take from it, like its conclusions. So here's what can be summarized from the study. Number one, there's a new ancient gene pool found belonging to the Altai Cyan region and Altai Cyan hunter-gatherers. It's a mixture between Paleo-Siberians and ancient North Eurasians. So here's the genetic analysis on them using the Global 25 calculator, G25. So yeah, if you want to like uh, analyze it a bit more, then just pause the video because I have to move on to the next entry. The second conclusion that we can make from this study is that this new profile is likely to be the source of ancient North Eurasian related ancestry in the Baikal hunter-gatherers, Okunevo people, and even the Tarim early Middle Bronze Age people. The third conclusion that we can make from this study is that the ancient Northeast Asian ancestry, which is associated with the people 1500 kilometers away, yes, 1500 fucking kilometers away from the Altai Sinai region, has been found in a fucking sample. The fourth conclusion, and this conclusion I find the most interesting, because they found 7,000 year old individuals in the Russian Far East that carried Jomon associated ancestry. This says a lot. This says a lot. The reason for that is, um, before I explain anything, see the orange is the Jomon, the native Japanese, pre Yaoi Japanese. And there is admixture from the Jomons that the Far Eastern Russians have. And that is really interesting. In my humble opinion, what we derive from this is that the Jomons had influence outside the Japanese archipelago in Siberia. And we need to do more research on this, honestly, because this is really interesting. The fifth and final conclusion we can take from this study is that they found that there were multiple phases of Amerindian-related gene flow as far as Central Siberia. For those who don't know, Amerindian means Native American. And this further proves the connection between Siberians and Native Americans. This study and this conclusion in general, they prove a connection between Native Americans and and Siberians, because most studies I've seen, they just showed connections between Far Eastern Siberians and Native Americans, but this study shows that there's a connection between the Central Siberians, Central Siberians, there's a connection as far as Central Siberia with the Amerindian populations. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, I got sick recently, so, yeah, now I have to clean my microphone from the germs that it contains now thanks for watching the video bye